Nahum 1 6. Lifne za mo mi yaamod. U mi yakum bacharon apo. Chamato nit ha chaesh. Vehatsurim nit su mimenu. Nahum 1 6 translates in full like this Before his indignation, who can stand? And who can rise in the heat of his nose, or that would be his wrath? His wrath is poured forth as fire, and the rocks are broken from him. The first part of 1 6 opens with a couple of rhetorical questions. Before his indignation, who can stand? The implied answer is no one. The verbal here is the call imperfect 3MS of the root amad, meaning to stand. Notice the vowel changes in the performative yod and the hadif shva in the ayin. Now, we know this is call and not hifil because the call pattern of the performative vowel thematic vowel combination is a o, whereas the hifil is a i. Here we have the holem vav thematic vowel written fully, indicating the call form. The next question is, who can arise in the heat of his wrath? The verbal here is also the call imperfect 3MS, this time of the root kum, meaning to rise or to arise. The idea here is the same as the first question. It's not a matter of merely standing upright, but of enduring God's anger. No one can withstand it. In the second line, we begin with another synonym for God's anger, his wrath. The verbal this time is the nifal perfect 3FS of the root natach, meaning to pour forth. Here, God's wrath is poured forth like fire. Finally, the rocks are broken. This time, the verb is another nifal, and it's the the perfect 3CP of the root natats, meaning to break. Notice in both of these nifals, the one noons have assimilated into the tavs.